Anything is possible. It started with a dream. Our passion made a difference and built a family. We've Hello, got strong you're with Lippy Dyson from LippyStamps.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. And today I'm bringing you another one of those How Do I Do That? videos. Still using some vellum. Now this is a card I made earlier without the vellum. And I've got the DSP background. And I've just put some uh, die cuts on the front with a sentiment. And this one is exactly the same, except I've used Old Olive as a base instead of Knight of Navy. I've used the same DSP. I chose to use gold glimmer paper on this, and it just tones down the DSP a bit. So I just thought I'd show you how I do, do that. So they're my two sample cards. And we're going to use Pretty Peacock. And we're using the Night Before Christmas Designer Series Paper 6x6 stack. We're going to be using our Silicon Craft Sheet. And we're, I've also used the Holly Jolly Christmas Bundle. So it comes as a stamp set and dies as a bundle for 10% cheaper um, than if you buy the two separately for the holiday catalogue. All right, so I've got my craft sheet out. I've got my bits and pieces cut and I've got my vellum cut. So I'm just going to move the card out of the way and I've got the vellum there. And it's quite a nice background too. There are lovely backgrounds in that DSP. Alright, I'm going to turn my vellum to the wrong side or whichever side I like really. Put some glue on my craft silicon craft sheet. And then come in with a sponge dauber that I've cut into an eighth and used a punch to make a handle. And I've just put glue on it so it doesn't get mixed up with any of my other punches. And I just go round and round and round until that's gone. And then you can clean that up later with water if you want to. And then I just dab over the vellum. And you'll be able to see, or well you can't see, anywhere that I've dabbed. And I'm just going to pop that on top of my DSP which is cut to 14.4 by 10. All right now these are my elements that I'm going to put on so I'm going to pop the ribbon about there. All right so I'll just turn that over, line that up Get some tear and tape. All right, I just put two bits of tear and tape on the back to hold that ribbon. And it's also available in the holiday catalogue. So just attaching that there like that. This one down a bit. The grid paper is great for lining up your ribbon. And this is the Christmas grid paper that's available in my online store. All the products we're using today are available in my online store and I'd love you to shop with me. Go to LibbyStamps.com, click on the shop button, make sure to use the hostess code for extra rewards. Alright, so I'm just popping that down on my pretty peacock piece of cardstock. Now, I've already stamped the inside and the envelope with the group of trees that comes in the Holly Jolly Christmas um, stamp set and I've die cut the Santa, um, the sleigh and the sentiment from the Jolly Season dies so that's part of the bundle. Alright now here's another tip for you. I'm just going to put some 
liquid adhesive on the back here and you don't have to put a lot on just a bit on each gear will be enough turn it over pop it down pop it down on a bit of an angle so it looks like it's flying through the air and then I'm going to do the same on the centre mat so just put a bit of liquid glue you could use fine tip glue it would work exceptionally well just make sure you get a bit of glue on all the different parts so that it sticks properly and then flip it over and we can put it on our card now I think it needs a bit of red now here's another tip if that won't stick down while you're waiting get your largest block out which is a an F block pop it on the top and just leave it and I'm going to get out some of the foil tidings glitter enamel dots because I think they'll go nicely on this card and I'm going to just put some red ones on I think just to brighten up the front of the card and while I'm getting those out that block is helping those elements to sit down and this is quite a quick card to make and you'll see that it's just toned down that um, DSP I'll use this one here Right, we might put a couple up here and one down here and that's just added a bit of extra colour and glimmer to our card front so that's how I do that um, attaching the vellum to tone down some DSP so I'll show you again so that's the card we've done today with the inside and the envelope this is my sample card that I showed you previously with the inside the envelope and this is the card without the vellum which I made previously. So there are cards today. Don't forget to shop online at libbystamps.com. Click on the shop button and become a customer of mine. Thanks so much and I hope to see you back again next time for another Everybody How Do I Do That. Everybody plays a part in doing what we love.